In this section, we're going to cover the mean value theorem. So the mean value theorem is this equation right here, but let me first explain to you where this came from. We're first going to take a look at this picture right here that will highlight what mean value theorem means. We're going to take an interval from A to B to look at. At A and B, we're going to look at these two points, and we want to find the slope of a line that goes through those two points at A and B. The mean value theorem says that because the line is going to have to go through A and curve and come back down, that means that somewhere I'm going to be able to find the slope of a tangent line that's the same as the slope as this one. And that's going to occur at C. So mean value theorem says that if I have a continuous function, there's a couple conditions I'll talk about that must be met in order for this to work. But assuming those are met, that means that you're guaranteed to find at least one value of C on that interval to where the slope of the tangent at C is exactly the same as the slope that goes through A and B. So where does our formula come from? Okay, f prime of C, that is the slope of the tangent line at C. Remember, the derivative means slope. What is this? This would be the way you could find the slope of a line passing through A and B. Okay, so I have change in y over change in x. It's just the slope formula that you've seen before in algebra. Same thing that we're applying here. These two slopes are equal to each other. As I mentioned earlier, there's only a couple conditions that have to be met in order for the mean value theorem to be applied. So this itself is the mean value theorem. The C value is, is only going to exist there if these two conditions are going to be met. So let's take a look at those. First of all, your original function, we're saying that this original line here is our f of x. That has to be continuous. What does that mean by continuous? That means that as I draw along here, there's no place where I have to take the pen off the paper and continue it again, which means that there's there going to be no holes between A and B, and there's no vertical asymptotes between A and B. That's the first, what it means by continuous. The second one, f of x is differentiable on, now notice, continuity is with a closed interval, differentiability is the open interval, so not including the endpoints here. What this means is that we're going to take the derivative, and we're going to see that the derivative is continuous on the open interval from A to B. So again, the, if it's not differentiable on A to B, it's okay because we're not including the uh, endpoints there. We're only talking about it's continuous on every point in between A and B. So those are the two conditions that must be met. If these two conditions are met, then what mean value theorem says is that this formula is guaranteed to give us at least one value of C. There might be more, but at least one value of C on the open interval from A to B in order for this equation to be satisfied. And we're actually going to be finding the C value in later problems in this section. But before we jump into that, let's first just take a look at a, a quick example just to make sure we understand if a mean value theorem can be applied or not. Okay, so now we've taken a look at the rules uh, for mean value theorem and knowing when it can be applied. Let's take a look at this example. This example they want us to determine whether the mean value theorem can be applied here. Uh, f of x is equal to x to the 4 fifths, and we have our closed interval from 0 to 1. Now, the first thing you have to look for, condition that has to be met, is f of x has to be continuous on the closed interval. I have x raised to the 4 fifths, and if I put a 0 in there, 0 raised to anything is 0. If I put 1 in there, 1 raised to anything is 1. But anything in between 0 and 1, I'm not going to be taking the, the square root of a negative number or have a division by 0. So because of that, we know for sure that this is going to be continuous on the closed interval. So I know that f is continuous on closed interval from 0 to 1. So that's the first condition that's satisfied. Now the second one involves the derivative. So let's find the derivative. Okay, the derivative is going to involve the power rule, so 4 fifths is going to come down. I have x, I'm going to subtract 1 from the exponent. 4 fifths minus 5 fifths will give us negative 1 fifth. And I can rewrite this, f prime of x is equal to 4 over 5x to the 1 fifth. So this is going to be my derivative function. I want to make sure that this is continuous on the open interval from 0 to 1. 
Now, what's going to make this undefined right here? Well, if I put a zero down there, that's going to make this function undefined, which means we can say that this is not differentiable at x is equal to zero. However, when we look at this, uh, the conditions, we're saying that f primed uh, is continuous on the open interval from zero to one, which means that f is differentiable on zero to one. So that right there, that's the second check. Uh, so both those conditions are satisfied, which means to determine whether a mean value can be applied, we're going to say that mean value theorem can be applied in this situation because, again, these two conditions have been met.